It's a big setback for the Congress party where senior leader Milan Deora has joined the Shiv Sena in the presence of Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde, bringing an end to his family's 55-year association with the Congress. Well, after joining the Shiv Sena, Milan Deora came down heavily on the Congress. He said that earlier the Congress is promoting industry and helping in development, but now it's unnecessarily targeting businessmen. He went on to add that the only agenda of the Congress is to defame Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Senior Congress leader Jairam Ramesh expressed displeasure over Deora's call decision. He took two X and tweeted that Muli Deora always stood by the Congress, though thick and thin, and that he was a stalwart congressman. Meanwhile, the BJP took a jibe at the Congress, saying that it must start Nyay Yatra for its own netas, and that Rahul Gandhi must do Nyay to his own netas first. The same party that ushered in economic reforms 30 years ago is a party that is abusing industrialists, abusing businessmen, and calling businessmen anti-nationals. Aaj us party ka ek hi udesh hai ki Modi ji jo kahenge, jo kehte hain, jo karma karte hain, automatically uske khilaf ho. Absurd ki baat hai ki aaj ki Congress. और 1968 की कांग्रेस जब मेरे स्वर्गीय पिताजी ने इस पार्टी में शामिल हुआ और 2004 की कांग्रेस जब मैं इस पार्टी में शामिल हुआ दोनों कांग्रेस में बहुत अंतर है बहुत फर्क है यदि कांग्रेस और यूबीटी कंस्ट्रक्टिव और सकारात्मक सुझावों और मेरिट और योग्यता को महत्व देते तो आज एकनाथ जी और मैं यहां नहीं बैठे हुए मैं पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ गेन जी ए आई एन में विश्वास करता हूं गेन का मतलब ग्रोथ एस्पिरेशन इंक्लूसिविटी एंड नेशनलिज्म मैं पेन की राजनीति में विश्वास नहीं करता हूं पी ए आई एन पर्सनल अटैक्स इनजस्टिस और नेगेटिविटी हम सभी यहां पे मणिपुर में आए हैं मणिपुर के लोगों ने हमको स्वागत किया है क्योंकि मणिपुर की बात सिर्फ कांग्रेस पार्टी और इंडिया गठबंधन उठाती है इस पल पे मलिन देवरा जी नहीं है तो उन्हीं का नुकसान है तो मुरली देवरा मेरे हमारे वो बड़े आ, बड़े नेता थे कांग्रेस पार्टी के 30-40 साल तक वो नेता रहे मंत्री रहे सांसद रहे उनकी दोस्ती सभी पार्टियों से हुआ करती थी पर वो एक अटल और दृढ़ कांग्रेस ही थे और उन्होंने कांग्रेस का कभी साथ नहीं छोड़ा मैं आज मुरली देवरा जी को याद करता हूँ मिलिंद देवरा वॉज गिवन एम्पल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू आई मीन इन आवर पार्टी यू नो दैट ही वॉज आर्लियर आई मीन गिवन दिनिस्टरियल पोर्टफोलियो ऑल्सो बट आई नॉट डोट ग्रीवेंस इज विच आर नर्सिंग बाई ही I, I had personally met him in Nagpur also. I do not know meanwhile what kind of development had taken place. विडंबना देखे एक और श्रीमान राहुल गांधी भारत जोड़ो अभियान चला रहे हैं और दूसरी ओर उनके ही घर के नेता दल के नेता उनको कांग्रेस छोड़ो अभियान के तहत धीरे धीरे एक एक करके छोड़ के जा रहे हैं इसके पूर्व भी कई सारे नेताओं ने कांग्रेस दल को त्याग दिया कांग्रेस की नीतियां उनका परिवारवाद और मां भारती के जो दुश्मन मुल्क है उनके साथ उनका खड़े होना कई सारे कारण है you know the the timing of this today was really to cloud rahul gandhi's bharat jodo nyay yatra the joining the leaving of the congress and the joining of the shiv sena today milan deora's big political move well thank you very much uh, to be honest uh, milan deora is not really a mass leader in the truest sense of the term he lost both 2014 and 2019 to the shiv sena uh and shiv sena's uh, arvind savant from south mumbai uh so from an electoral point of view i think it doesn't have much of an impact but from a perception point of view the fact that someone who's a known leader in mumbai who seem to be close to uh, rahul gandhi his family has been close to the gandhis for 
more than five decades, stretching back to his father, uh, Murli Deora, someone who's close to corporate India. I think in perception terms, uh, the departure of uh, Milin Deora from South Mumbai does give the impression once again that the Congress is a sinking ship and those who are in a position to leave are leaving the party. So from that perspective, I think it does damage the Congress party. You know, the kind of signal it sends, in your opinion, just months ahead of the general elections. I get a point about Milan Dura not being successful of late in Lok Sabha, uh, you know, elections. He's had one poll debacle after the other. But, you know, what about the fact that young, ambitious Netas, who say that they're getting a bit of a raw deal here in the Congress party? Look, I think it's not just Milind Deora. I think you have to look at what's been happening in the Congress over the last five years, particularly since its 2019 defeat. A number of leaders perceived close to Rahul Gandhi, whether Jitin Prasad, RPN Singh, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, uh, have left the Congress. Milind Deora is the fourth. Uh, uh, someone like Sachin Pilot has also been uneasy, uh, rebelled against Ashok Gelot's leadership in 2020. So the sense you get is that the younger leaders feel that the Congress is not fulfilling their ambitions, that either there are senior leaders blocking them or there is some communication lag with the party high command uh, and the Congress is on a road to nowhere. So I think it's demoralizing uh, for the rest of the party. And it also sends out the uh, impression yet again that uh, uh, the Congress has very few avenues for political mobility and does raise several questions about Rahul Gandhi's leadership. Because as I reiterate, all these leaders were perceived close to Rahul Gandhi. They became ministers in UPA too. So the sense is that if Rahul Gandhi can't inspire those who are close to him, how will he inspire the rest of the party? You know, as far as Deora is concerned, I'm going to go back to him since Deora is the one making headlines today, Rajdeep. You know, the trigger in this case seems to be the denial of the Mumbai South seat. I get it that he's lost it not once but twice in a row. You know, but... I just want to ask you, do developments from today just show that Congress is pretty vulnerable to arm twisting by allies like Shiv Sena also? Look, let's be very clear. Uh, you know, the Shiv Sena, Uddhav Barasaib Thakre group leader, Arvind Savant is the one who defeated Milind Deora both in 2014 and 2019 from South Mumbai. So it will be difficult to deny him the ticket. I think Milind Deora knew that. So I don't believe that Milind Deora is leaving the party because that particular seat is going to the Shiv Sena UBT. They will get that seat because they won it two consecutive times. I think Milind Deora has been uneasy for a while with the Congress. He was hoping to get a Rajya Sabha seat in 2018. He was passed over and again in 2022. And, and, and the sense you get is that he feels that the party has not uh, uh, given him any space at the moment. He wanted to... Uh, uh, to sort of climb up and get back into Delhi politics, parliamentary politics here, which he believes he's, he's suitable for. And uh, I think that's the reason uh, why he's leaving, not because the South Mumbai seat is being denied to him. This has been building up for a while. And uh, the Eknath Shinde group, if reports are to be believed, has assured Milind Deora that they will look after his interests. And he may get a Rajya Sabha seat from the, the Shinde group. It's interesting he's not joined the BJP like the Jyotiraditya Sindhyas, the Jitin Prasad's RP and Singh, because maybe the BJP uh, has also very little to offer him. They may well contest the South Mumbai seat themselves. And at the moment, there's a long queue of people waiting to join the BJP. So the Shinde group may offer something to Milin, which uh, the uh, BJP will not. Rajdeep Sardasai, I'm going to thank you, our consulting editor there, with his perspective on this big political development from today. Getting in details of uh, this story and Saurav Akhtaria as a reporter on ground continues to be live with us from Eknath Chinde's residence in Mumbai. Uh, you know, Saurav, not just uh, Milan Deora, but in fact a series of senior Congress leaders from Maharashtra today have in fact joined uh, Shiv Sena in that sense. Uh, as far as the optics of this is concerned, obviously it's terrible really for the Congress, isn't it? Absolutely, Sneha, and hmm. uh, not just uh, uh, Milind Devra. The more uh, important is that the community, the hmm. business community today, have left uh, 
Congress and then they will join the Eknath Shinde Shiv Sena. Well, I was present inside. Uh, Sneha, uh, first of all, uh, Milind Devra actually got very much emotional. He went on to say that today, this day would have not been possible if uh, uh, Cong if Congress and Uddhav Thakre Sena, he specifically said that Uddhav Thakre Sena would have been sincere to their work. He also said that how there is so much of differences and good people are being ignored. Uh, what I see here on ground is, uh, Sneha, that Congress may be saying that for the last two terms, for the last 10 years, uh, the Milind Devra was not performing well. He was not being, he was missing in action. But what I saw on ground today is that, that many of the people from the business community, be it the diamond merchant, the gold merchant, the textile uh, industry people, several of them have joined Eknath Shinde's camp along with Milind Devra. So this is going to harm the Congress party. Now, what clearly Milind Devra has been, uh, first of all, I would like to say that how uh, Srikant Shinde was very much active in getting Milin Devra on board and that tuning I saw on ground. Now, very importantly, Milin Devra attacked the Congress party. He clearly said that this is not the same Congress party which he and his father joined several years back. He said that current Congress party is against the industrialists. It is against the, uh, against the development work and Modi ji. So clearly changing, uh, changing the ship and most importantly, it will be a big question right now. What I see, Sneha, is that how Milin Devra is going to justify the ideology change. Because for the five, 55 years, he has been associated, he and his family has been associated with the Congress party. And now a sudden twist in the ideology, the complete change in the ideology, how he is going to justify that and whether the people will accept his, uh, his change in ideology will be important. Uh, to see, but clearly he has changed the ship, and right now he has praised uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he has praised Amit Shah, and he has praised the work of Eknath Shinde, and uh, he also, the sources have also told us that he might contest the election from the South Mumbai Lok Sabha seat. So right. there's a lot of speculation over it that whether he will be contesting or he will be given the Rajya Sabha ticket, but uh, clearly sources are telling us that he will be the candidate from the Mahayuti, from the Shiv Sena, Ekna Shinde Shiv Sena, for the Lok Sabha South seat. Now, whether Yes, BJP Saurav, in fact, be... we'll in fact keep coming back to you for more details on that story. Saurav Bhaktanya getting us up to speed with the big political story of the day. Milindyura, not a part of the Congress anymore and has joined the Ekna Shinde faction of the Shiv Sena. Well, Indian shooter Manavji 